I think what we're seeing um, with the current situation is similar to what happened in previous economic slowdowns and downturns, and that is some part of the consumer trades up and another part of the consumer base is trading down. It's usually the mid-price point that's getting squeezed. So we do pay attention to premium products, but we also pay attention to affordable products. And uh, I think by covering both ends of this pricing spectrum, uh, we're doing well and we're serving people's needs. Let's talk in the time we have left about affordable products. Nestle, every time I speak with you, I think about sustainability and I think that about mission. Uh, if you work at Nestle, you're more than a food company. You're making it so that it, so that food is affordable for people who can't. That's something that seems to be just one of the things that's really important to you and your company. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, think about uh, regions like Sub-Saharan Africa or some of some of the poorer parts of Southeast Asia. So there, if you price up a product, it may make the difference between a consumer having a dinner or a consumer going home at night hungry. And so observing magic price points that are pretty much defined by the day's cash earnings is something that's key if you want to serve those consumers. So in this environment, to offer high quality food that is micronutrient enriched and still affordable in the face of all of that inflation around the world is a significant challenge, but I think we're rising to it. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer, hashtag mad tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.